Hello chess lovers, Surin here and I have a very dramatic game for you played by Lela Chess Zero against Chiron Engine. Lela Chess Zero is a free and open source chess engine and distributed computing project. Like Lela Zero and AlphaGo Zero, Lela Chess Zero only knows the basic rules and nothing more and it had trained itself by playing over 23 million games of chess against itself. When it comes to Chiron, it's a very strong chess engine with 3160 elo points. This was a rapid game played on chess.com and now let's see what happened on the board. Leila started the game with e4 and e5 by Chiron. Knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. Leila goes for the Spanish game and knight d4. Black is choosing one of the sidelines and goes for Bird's defense, named after an English chess player Henry Bird, who played it as Black at least 25 times. Nowadays this is not a popular line and with careful play White can gain advantage. Knight takes d4 was played, he takes d4, White castles kingside, bishop c5, bishop c4, Lela is bringing her bishop on a more active diagonal, d6, d3, a5 and a4. Well, according to Stockfish9, playing f4 or knight d2 is better if c6 only than a4. But in the game after a5, we see a4 by Lela. h6, Black wants to develop his knight and is preventing any possible bishop g5 jumps, which can pin Black knight. Knight d2, knight f6, here we go f4. And Black castles kingside. Well, knight g4 looks tempting with the idea of bringing the knight on e3 square, although it turns out that there is not much black can do, white can simply play knight b3, if bishop b6 then h3, and if you move like knight e3 then white can capture on e3 and then can play d4, white will establish a strong center, will cut off the bishop from the pawn and then will win this pawn, no problem at all. That's why after f4 black castled king side h3, a prophylactic move white is not allowing any possible intrusions, bishop e6, bishop b3, white is preventing any possible d5 moves and already d5 can be met with e5, c6, queen e1, bishop takes b3, knight takes b3, bishop b6, queen f2, right now the pawn on d4 is hanging, c5, knight d2, now white will bring his knight on a more active square, rook e8, queen g3. Actually engines don't like this move and according to stockfish9 it was better to play g4 and then g5, a very aggressive line, but in the game we will see that Lela is acquiring a very calm strategy, queen g3, queen e7, knight c4, bishop c7, knight a3, this time Lela will bring the knight on b5 square, rook a6, bishop d2, bishop d8, rook e1, knight d7, knight b5, rook c6, b3, preventing any possible c4 moves, queen h4, queen f3, white is rejecting the offer of exchange of queens, later during the attack this queen can be very useful, rook e2, queen e6, rook e1, bishop h4, here the players repeated the moves, actually during this game we will see a lot of move repetitions, rook f1, queen g6, and finally g4 is on the board, look at this massive pawn chain, so far we haven't seen an exchange of pawns, queen h7, knight a3, this time Lela will bring her knight on c4 square, which will put pressure on a5, queen h7, knight c4, knight b6, and we see the exchange of knights on b6 square, but actually instead of capturing on b6, knight takes a5 is also playable, no problem at all, which is Angie's first choice, but Lela went for knight takes b6, this is a matter of test and let's see what Lela had in mind. Bishop takes b6, h4, rook c7, now comes g5. This looks very impressive guys. h5, f5, g6, queen h3, rook e7 and f takes g6. Well, probably it would have been better to keep the tension on f file, line up the pieces on the f file and then go for a breakthrough, but Lela had different ideas and she went for f takes g6, she's opening up the f file and now the 
rook penetrates black's camp. Rook f6, bishop c7, rook f2, rook d8, and c4. Lela is plumbing the queen side, not allowing any possible activation by black pawns. Queen g7, bishop f4, king h7. While black is making random waiting moves, white is making his position stronger. King g8 and bishop g3, and we have it, Alakine is gone. The queen from behind is supporting her rooks. This can lead to massive damage to the opponent as it places considerable pressure on the target of the gun, especially if it's pinned. Right now there are no targets and all white has is the total control over the f-file b6, bishop h2, and now let's see how is white going to make her position better. Actually, the white has a huge advantage, but black's position is very solid, and let's see what type of strategical idea will Lela develop to realize her advantage. Meanwhile, the players are repeating the moves and are making waiting moves, but Actually, I have to tell you that at some point in order to win the game, white should go for e5, which later we will see in the game. But before doing it, Lela will now come up with a very interesting idea. Let's make a few more moves and then see what is Lela going to do. There it is, we have king f1. You may ask, but where is this king going? But just have a look. The king is going towards the queen side, where the king will feel safer and already white can go for a breakthrough. I don't think that modern engines can find such a strategical idea and it's only Lela Zero who goes for this king march. Look at this guys, this is crazy. King d2, but still Lela is repeating the moves, is still waiting. King g8, king d1, rook b7, queen g2, rook e7, and finally we have it e5. e5 was actually playable several times during the last waiting moves, but we see it only after Lela made a lot of hesitant waiting moves. d takes e5, and now comes queen e4, the threat is rook takes g6, king h7, rook takes b6, black's position is starting to collapse. And then rook takes c5, white will now start picking up black pawns. Again, the king is marching towards the left side of the board, rook f1. We see some more waiting moves, bishop d2, rook b5, rook a7, rook f6. The second rook also penetrates black's camp, bishop c7, rook c5, queen g8, rook c6. White is intensifying the pressure on g6, rook g7 and queen e2. Right now there is a devastating queen takes h5 threat. For example, if rook b7 just a random move, then queen takes h5 check followed by rook h6 checkmate. That's why after queen e2, rook d7 was played, king c2, rook b8 and finally white captures on g6. And after the exchange on g6 square, the queen jumps into the game. King g7, queen c6 e4, queen f6 check, and then queen g6 check, and queen takes e4. The queen is also capturing on d4, and then queen c5, and then bishop takes a5, guys. Already, it's black's position is actually hopeless. Let's see how is Lela going to realize her advantage. The pawns are marching forward on the queen side, and queen f6 check, king g8, and now simply pushing the pawns forward leads to an easy victory. But in this position Lela came up with a very interesting idea. She captured on e7. Rook takes e7, a5. Rook d7 check, king c5. And now with so many passed pawns white can easily finish up black. a6, rook e6 check, king a5. Rook e2, king b6. Of course a7 wins faster, but we see king b6, again we see a repetition of moves, and then c5, king f7, king b6. As you have noticed, Lela is simply having fun. Rook a8, g6. Look at this move, guys. Actually, king b7 is again winning faster, and then c6, and then c7, it's over. But in the game we see g6. You may ask, but what is Lela doing? But just have a look, b6. White is not playing king b7 or g7, but b6 is offering two pawns. Rook takes a6, king b7, 
rook a1, c6, king takes g6, the other pawn also drops c7, and finally a queen appears on the board. King f6, queen h8 check, queen e8 check, and then queen takes h5, rook e1. Of course, that pawn is untouchable because of this queen e5 fork. That's why we see rook e1. And queen e5 check. Look at this, guys. White is forcing black to give away the second rook as well. And the h pawn is marching forward. King g7. And here, Lela went for an under promotion and promoted her pawn to a rook. This is insane, guys. Now comes e pawn. King f7, and this time Lela promoted the pawn to a knight. This is crazy, guys. How on earth is this possible? King g6. Chiron didn't accept the sacrifice. Probably is hoping for a stalemate. A very human-like approach, I think. And now Lela will simply finish up her opponent instead. King c5. Another very interesting move, guys. The thing is that now even king e4 leads to a checkmate in 2. If king a5, then queen b5 checkmate. But just have a look at this human type king c5 move. When trying to mate your opponent, you are intuitively bringing your king near to the opponent's king. King a5 and finally we see a checkmate on the board. Nowadays, while humans are busy with acquiring engine moves, we could see that when it comes to the artificial intelligence, it's quite the opposite. Lela was playing like a real human and was trolling her opponent and maybe was smiling too. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. Though the game was a very long one, it lasted for 168 moves, but I tried to keep it very simple and went through boring parts of the game very quickly. Here are more suggestions for you. For more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.